Hello and welcome to a new video from our Wunschgetreu review section. Remo, our review pro, is at it again. This time he checked out 8 of the most popular hair clippers. If you are looking for a suitable hair clipper but ain't sure which one to get, stay tuned. Everything you need to know will be summed up in this video. Alright, here we go. Let's start with our hair clipper review and comparison. As usual, we compare devices with different price points and give you an overview of the main differences. This time, we'll take a look at two inexpensive all-rounders from Hatteke and Remington, two reasonable priced devices from the Brown HC series, a mid-priced device from Philips with many features, two Panasonic professional devices, and last but not least, a well-designed device from Val. And if you're interested in one of these products, make sure to check out the description below in order to find out more about your buying options. Anyway, let's start with the product information and features. First, we have to talk about the battery runtime, which is about 50 minutes for most of the devices. Although, the hair clippers from Baal and Philips stand out here. However, the front runner in our review is the device from Hetteka, which not only has a runtime of 2.5 hours, but also comes with a spare battery. If we include the charging time, we see that most hair clippers are fully charged after one hour. A few of the other devices take their sweet time with 90 or 120 minutes. The last spot goes to the Braun HC5050, which has a charging time of 8 hours. The follow-up model HC5090 comes out on top in this case. In addition to a shorter charging time, it also has the quick charge feature. Naturally, the devices do have some additional helpful goodies. Those include features such as the nicely made battery display of the Remington, the large scope of delivery of the Hatteka, or the special design of the Vile Magic Clip Cordless. However, as far as features go, one device in particular stands out among all the other competitors. And that's the Philips HC9450. Unlike all the other hair clippers in our comparison, which essentially rely on rotary controls, sliders and levers, the device from Philips offers a digital solution. You have to use the so-called feature Digital Swipe if you want to adjust the cutting length with this device. That means that you have to virtually swipe up or down to select the millimeter specification. The comp attachment is then automatically set to the desired length. So, manually adjusting via an analog control mechanism or similar things is not necessary. This is not only convenient, but also opens up new possibilities. With a maximum cutting length of 42mm, the device from Philips pulls ahead. Usually the cutting range lies between 15 and 25mm. Exceptions are only the two brown devices with 35 and the Remington with 40mm. In terms of setting the cutting length, the device from Philips also clearly sets itself apart from the competitors with 400 different length settings and units of 0.1mm. At least while working without any attachments, the competitors can still offer relatively fine length settings via rotary controls or dials, while WAL has an almost infinite amount of variables via a lever. However, if you need your hair to be a bit longer, you unfortunately do not have as many options. The length settings usually get more and more incomplete as the cutting length increases. In the end, we have a clear winner in terms of product information and features. The device from Philips offers more convenience during usage, a larger cutting range and more length options thanks to its digital approach. The other hair clippers cannot keep up with this approach and therefore lag behind. However, if Philips digital way is not what you have in mind, you should take a look at the Panasonic devices. The concept is kept quite simple, but we still liked it quite a bit. However, you do have to make some compromises in terms of the maximum cutting range and the length intervals. Next up is trimming and cutting and that means that we are using the devices. First, we took a closer look at the hair clippers themselves. Interestingly enough, the device from Philips no longer stands out as much anymore. The device itself is big and clunky and the front does not really look high quality. On the other hand, all other devices convey a positive impression. In our opinion, the Panasonic devices are strikingly well manufactured. Mm -hmm. Everything seems to be as if it's made of one piece. On the other hand, visually speaking, the device from Val can hold its own. That's a real eye-catcher, there is no other way to put it. However, good workmanship and the high quality of materials do have their price in the end. And that's its weight. Accordingly, the higher priced devices tend to be on the lower end of things. The Panasonic Professional machines and the device from Val weigh a bit more. The brown devices, as well as the device from Philips, can score here. In terms of volume, most of the competitors are within a range of 60 to 70 decibels. Only two devices stand out. One is the device from Hetteka, which was the quietest tech clipper we reviewed with 53 to 55 decibels. 
Coming in second, we have the Panasonic ER DGP82 at 59 decibels. Next, let's take a look at how the hair clippers perform during usage. There are two main areas to examine here. Firstly, working without the comb attachments and thus very close to the skin and trimming longer hair with the comb attachments. Since Remo prefers to walk around bald, we start with trimming hair, starting with the sense of safety. Of course, we always worry about how safe it is to cut your hair with these devices. Since you work with the blade directly on the skin and you might still remember from earlier days or with very inferior products that you sometimes have the feeling that the blade is so sharp that you might scratch your skin or possibly even directly cut into your flesh. Of course, we do not want that. And I can tell you right now that throughout this comparison there is no device that should worry you in that regard. Of course, we still have some differences here. This is also partially due to the fact that we have different price points. There are inexpensive devices that are not manufactured quite as well and there are of course high quality devices that are manufactured way better. Across the board, however, we can say that no matter which approach is chosen by the manufacturers, all blades convey a fairly high sense of security. The trimming results are basically pretty similar to that. Overall, we can say that we have a very high standard here. However, we still have to differentiate and we can honestly say that the first five devices get something like a B grade. Some a bit better, others a bit worse, but in the end the differences are only marginal. It gets much better while looking at our A-grade with the last three devices. Here you really notice the difference in quality and power that the devices ultimately provide. Overall, everything tends to work a bit better here. But taking the heat development into consideration, the whole picture looks quite different yet again. I was surprised by the fact that two of the cheapest devices and two of the more expensive ones actually provide a similarly poor experience. The heat development is actually quite strong in some cases. So much so that you might even have the feeling that the device gets hot. It's still safe enough, there are no burns or anything like that, but you might feel a bit like, hey, my head is burning. So cooling down could be essential here. Looking at the two devices from Brown, it gets a bit better and that really surprised me, since the devices have a relatively high proportion of plastic beneath the blade. I would have suspected that the heat can't be dissipated correctly, but it apparently works much better than for example with the previously mentioned devices. The device from Philips goes even further. The heat development is still present with this device, but it's not as strong as with some other devices. In the end, the Val device shows how it's really done. And in my opinion, this is simply due to the fact that we have a really massive and large metal blade. It is quite thick in some places and thus is able to absorb a lot of heat energy which is not radiating to the head. I have to say that I really like the fact that we started with a relatively cold blade. And in my case, when I was done with cutting my hair, the blade was still just barely warm. This is way better than having the need of taking a break after a short while because it got too warm. Please keep in mind, if you're interested in one of these hair clippers, make sure to check out the description below in order to find out more about your buying options. And if this video was helpful to you, make sure to like and subscribe. That's it for the trimming sensation and results. Now let's take a look at cutting longer hair with the comb attachments. Remo tried everything, but unfortunately his hair didn't grow back fast enough. Therefore we looked around for a hairdressing head. This one arrived after a few days and we named him Eddie. Eddie is equipped with 100% natural hair and is therefore especially suited for this review. Our would-be hairdresser Chris tried out all the hair clippers and behold, all the devices managed to tame the mane. None of them failed in any way. So far so good. However, there were some differences, especially in regards to the number of strokes that you'll need. You have to go through your hair a bit more often with the inexpensive devices from Hetaker and Remington. In our opinion, this is due to the comb attachments, especially with the device from Remington. These attachments are too big and chunky and sometimes tend to flatten the hair instead of cutting it. It got better with the two brown devices. These provide a solid trimming result. Taking the price point into consideration, quite a good performance. The device from Philips also does its job well and stands out with its turbo mode. This can be especially helpful for cutting thick hair. However, the best trimming results we had were achieved with the professional hair clippers from Panasonic and Wahl. Similar to the case of trimming hair, you'll notice the better workmanship through a stronger device and a slightly more sophisticated system. With these devices, the provided comb attachments get the hair faster than with cheaper hair clippers and thus significantly fewer corrective strokes are needed. The professional devices can actually dominate in our review due to the strong trimming performance. 
The Panasonic ERDGP82 achieves top scores, although its blade also gets quite warm over time. Coming in second, we have the Wahl Magic Clip Cordless, which scores even a little better in regards to trimming and pruning, but loses a few points in regards to its volume and weight. Coming in third, we have the Panasonic ERDGP72, the predecessor to the DGP82. Although, trimming and pruning is not all that matters. We need to know everything about these devices, and thus we take a look at the topic of cleaning. Having a completely washable hair clipper is certainly the best case. A few devices in this comparison actually have this feature, which makes cleaning the devices much easier. However, as with most hair clippers, some manual labor is still needed. Cleaning with the brush is the way to go. This is a bit more bothersome, but also worked quite well in the end. When it comes to blades, the best case would be that they are self-sharpening or at least proclaimed as durable for a lifetime. Of course, that doesn't mean that they never get dull, but you should have peace of mind for a while. In this comparison, five of the devices were equipped with such blades. However, the professional devices do not address this topic altogether. Our impression of the processing with these hair clippers, however, also speaks for a longer durability of the blades. In regards to the scope of delivery, two devices in particular stand out. These would be the two all-rounders from Hetaker and Remington. More or less, both offer a complete set that includes all sorts of other parts besides the usual stuff like a cleaning brush, oil and charger. For example, the Remington comes with a neck brush, scissors and a comb. The device from Hetaker mainly relies on a variety of different attachments and comes with an attachment for thinning out hair, two additional trimming attachments and a precision comb attachment. The other hair clippers can't really keep up with the sheer amount of equipment. But on the plus side, they mostly come with a higher quality accessories, as you can see from the Philips HC 9450's travel bag. As a result, we have a clear winner in terms of cleaning, maintenance and scope of delivery. And that's the Hatakar RSC 690. It is completely washable, its blade is self-sharpening and it comes with the most extensive accessories. The Brown HC5090 and the Remington HC5810 can still keep up, but either lose a point or two in regards to the scope of delivery or the cleaning of the device. The hair clippers in our comparison were thoroughly scrutinized and the bottom line is that none of them really failed. Nevertheless, we would like to present you our winners. Coming out on top, we have the Philips HC9450, which stood out due to its digital features as well as a solid trimming performance. Coming in at second place, we have the Panasonic ERDGP82, which might come across as a little basic, but also even leaves the Philips behind in terms of pruning and trimming. And our third spot goes to the Panasonic ERDGP72, the predecessor of the DGP82. Alright, we have checked these hair clippers for you. If you are interested in one of these devices, just take a look at the description below. There you will find out more about your buying options. Apart from that, just stay tuned. Our end card will provide a few more interesting recommendations for you.